set more tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video on how to use Setmore. Setmore is a popular online appointment scheduling software that helps businesses manage their appointments, staff schedules, and customer bookings. It's an easy-to-use tutorial that can make your life as a small business owner or freelancer much easier. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the basic features of Setmore and demonstrate how they can streamline your booking process. We will guide you on creating an account and provide an overview of the features and functionalities. Additionally, we will show you how to create new bookings and add customers. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Setmore, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, click on the Start Free button located at the top right corner of the screen. Upon clicking, you'll be redirected to the registration page. There are multiple ways to sign up on Setmore. You can choose to register using your Google account, your Facebook account, or your email address. Just select the option that you find most convenient. The on-screen prompts will guide you through the sign-up process, asking you to provide additional information to set up your account. Once you've successfully registered and set up your account, you'll be directed to your account dashboard. The Setmore dashboard is essentially the command center for all your Setmore activities. On the left side, you'll notice the main navigation bar that hosts key menu items such as your calendar, services, customers, integrations, and settings. The calendar section is where you can view your appointments, manage your schedule, and modify meeting details. It offers a visual representation of your daily, weekly, or monthly plans, allowing you to stay on top of your business commitments. The services area allows you to define and manage the services you provide. Here, you can add new service offerings, set their durations, assign team members, and specify prices. It allows you to create a service catalog that can be presented to your clients when they book appointments. Next, the Customers segment is a dedicated space for your client management. It's a repository where you can store customer information, track their appointment history, and manage their contact details. This ensures that all necessary client information is easily accessible when needed. The Integrations option is the gateway to enhancing your Setmore experience with third-party applications. This is where you can connect your Setmore account with other applications like Google Calendar, Outlook, Slack, or Zoom to extend your functionality and efficiency. Finally, the Settings menu is the operational control for your Setmore account. It's divided into several subsections such as My Profile, My Business, My Team, Services, General, Payments, Reports, Billing, and Notifications. Each of these subsections allows you to customize different aspects of your account. Now, let's see how to create new bookings in Setmore. A key functionality of Setmore is the ability to add new bookings, which is a crucial step in managing your appointments. The reason for adding new bookings in Setmore is to schedule services, classes, events, and set reminders, all within a single platform, providing a comprehensive way to manage your business schedule. To add a new booking in Setmore, you'll first need to navigate to your calendar. To do so, click on the Calendar option in the main navigation bar on your dashboard. This will take you to your calendar page. On the top right side of this page, you'll find a plus button. Click on this button and a drop-down menu will appear. In this drop-down menu, you'll need to select the New Booking option. Upon clicking the New Booking option, a pop-up window will appear where you will have to provide the required information to set up your new booking. The pop-up window is divided into four main sections, Service, Class, Event, and Reminder. The type of booking you wish to create will determine which section you fill out. For instance, if you want to schedule a service, you would fill out the service section. Here, you will need to select a service, choose the date and time, add guests, add a video meeting link, and provide any necessary notes to the provider and guests. The process is similar if you want to schedule a class, event, or set a reminder. For each, you would fill out the corresponding section with the required information. You have the option to create bookings for all of them by filling out all sections depending on your needs. Once you've filled out the required fields for your booking, click on the Create button to finalize the booking. This straightforward process allows you to efficiently manage your schedule and streamline your business operations through Setmore. Next, let's see how to add customers in Setmore. To ensure a seamless appointment scheduling and management process, Setmore offers the functionality of adding customers to your platform. 
The reason for adding customers in Setmore is to centralize your client details and appointment history. This feature optimizes your client management by providing you with easy access to all necessary customer information and their appointment history. Setmore enables you to do this in two ways, manual addition or importation from CSV or Google Contacts. To add customers manually, you first need to navigate to the Customers option in the primary menu located on the left-hand side of your Setmore dashboard. Clicking on this option will direct you to the Customers page. If you have previously added customers, their details will be displayed here. However, for new users, this page will initially be empty. You can add customers one by one. To do this, click on the plus add customer button located on this page. Clicking on this button will prompt a pop-up window to appear. This window is where you will input the required information about your customer. The main details you need to provide include the customer's full name, phone number, email address, and company name. Similarly, you are required to provide the customer's address information. This includes the country, street address, city, state, and zip code. After filling in these details, you can save the customer's information by clicking on the Save button. Importantly, this process is not only straightforward, but it also enhances your operational efficiency by keeping your client details organized and easily accessible. By having your customer's details in Setmore, you can manage your business more efficiently, keep your clients informed about their appointments, and ultimately improve your business performance. When it comes to pricing, Setmore offers three plans and pricing to cater to various business needs and sizes. The free plan is a no-cost option that accommodates up to four users. This plan is ideal for small businesses or startups looking for a cost-effective solution. Despite being free, Setmore ensures quality support for its users by offering 24-7 human support. This ensures that even small businesses have access to round-the-clock assistance, ensuring seamless scheduling and appointment management. The Pro Plan costs $5 per user per month. The Pro Plan is designed for small teams of 1-2 to two users, providing advanced features to enhance their appointment scheduling process. This plan suits businesses that need a few more features than what the Free Plan offers, but still operate with a small team. Lastly, for larger organizations with a higher number of users, Setmore proposes the Team Plan. This plan is also priced at $5 per user per month, like the Pro Plan, but it supports an unlimited number of users. This offering is tailored for businesses with large teams that require robust scheduling features. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Setmore. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching, and take care.